Hi, my name is Terry Sini. I'm Director of Community Relations and Outreach Programs for Panasonic. And this is the 2016 Panasonic Creative Design Challenge. <laughs> We're here at NJIT for the Panasonic Creative Design Challenge. Great. Could you explain what that is exactly and what you've uh, been doing? The Panasonic Creative Design Challenge is a contest where you have to build a device that can travel on two rails and uh, complete several different tasks on competition board. What has been the hardest part of this? Uh, probably the hardest part is getting it all done in time, but then the, uh, the marbles getting being able to pick them up was also a huge challenge. So what are some of the other tasks your robot has to complete? Uh, we have to uh, spin a valve, we have to pick up wooden spheres, we have to pick up uh, trains, little tiny Thomas trains, we have to um, close, uh, put, pick up panels and put them on top of a board box thing. Now, can you speak to your experience in the preliminaries? Yeah, in the preliminaries we did uh, really good. We completed the course in a minute and 30 seconds, so. Much, Much well, well under the Well time. under the three minute time. Great, um, so can you tell me how has this been in terms of your first robotics experience? Oh, it's been really uh, fun, really uh, great education opportunity. Yeah. Uh, this has been an ongoing design process for about six months now where uh, my co-advisor Mr. Tom Collins has been, we have been working with a team of three students to develop uh, a robot from scratch that will complete a series of tasks. It's been an ongoing challenge, uh, an ongoing design process of multiple iterations, multiple frustrations, multiple failures, resulting in a pretty functional robot that we're all very proud of and we have high hopes for today. I think it's most important for the students to understand what goes into the engineering and design of a project or a product and the trial and error that goes into prototyping and bringing together a model uh, that can work. Uh, usually there's many iterations that you go through uh, as you're trying to design the final product. Uh, in our case, we did those many iterations, but we also came out with a successful solution at the end uh, for the many different tasks that the robot has to do. Talk about your experience with building this robot. It was a really good experience. Like I learned a lot of stuff. I was hanging out with really cool people. I just had like, a lot of fun with it. Good. What was the most challenging part of this day? Time. <laughs> we spent most of our time like building this one prototype that didn't even work out. It just, it was terrible. Do you find that that was maybe a learning experience in itself? It kind of was in a way, but at the same time, we could have used a lot of that time to be working on the actual robot. <laughs> what are some learnings you take away from all this? You can't really do everything yourself. You definitely have to work as a team and uh, just have fun. Great. What do you expect to happen today? To win. <laughs> We're going to win. That's about it. Okay, good luck. Thank you. So we started something called the Rookie Award. And this is a school that has three, has been with our program three years or less. Each team member will receive a thousand dollars each, as well as a digital camera from Panasonic. And the winner of the Rookie Award is Ocean Township High School. Yeah.
So, what do we win? Nice thousand bucks. <laughs> and a camera. And scholarship oh, yeah. money. Thousand dollars in scholarship money and a camera. Yes, Did we have a good a very day? Nice camera. Yes. Yeah. What was the best part of the day? That. <laughs> I mean, it comes close time between the food and this. Right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, it was pretty good. Awesome job.